Hi, it's Tom from Inspiration Metal Works, and in this week's video, we're going to start work on a new water tray for the plasma cam. All right, so um, we got uh, a hurricane going on right now, though I'm far enough inland that uh, we're just getting bad storms and, and maybe some flooding, but. Um, as long as the lights are still on, we're still working. So, uh, where are we today? So, we've got the chop move still going. Most of the stuff has moved over here at this point. Um, just a few things left. And then it's, it's more around an organization uh, thing. You know, we're still figuring out where things are going to go and how it's going to work. But, um, actually, the lay is up and running. Um, I cut a couple of parts on it yesterday. Uh, I will be cutting a batch of parts today while I'm at it. So I may have that running in the background. But those parts cut so quickly that I almost need to be just, just attending to that. And the other part is the plasma cutter. So many of you, uh, or some of you may know that I, I've had a water table on my plasma cutter for about three years now. In fact, um, there's a really bad video of it. I'll put it up one of these sides here. Um, a link to it. But, uh, you know, there were some real uh, design shortfalls uh, at, that I made at the time. Um, so let's talk about those. Let's talk about uh, some of the things you need in order to make a water tray or water table, whatever you want to call it, um, make it uh, more usable. So the first thing is on my original table, um, I used whatever material I had. I, I was, you know, very set on a you know, you know, zero cost, or you know, I wasn't spending any more money to, to make this table. Uh, so I made it, it. It turned out to be 48 inches uh, square, um, big heavy frame underneath it, all this stuff. Well, the opening for the plasma cam is actually about 55 inches. You can do the math on that. It leaves you about three, three and a half inches all the way around. Well. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal because I do most of my cutting in a certain you know, part of the table or um, it was only a little bit on the outside edges and you know, more, most of your cutting is actually in the middle and to some extent it worked out well. Um, where that was a drawback though is that I would end up cutting outside in the, of that perimeter I'd be blowing dross and things like that all over the place. Um, the second thing about this table that uh, was not designed very well is I designed it to sit underneath the slats. And what I mean by that is it was completely below the slats. Well, that meant that there was about a five inch gap between, and actually closer to six inches when you add the points. Uh, there, there was a, a significant gap. And depending on how much water was in it from evaporation, things like that, um, you know, it could be seven or eight inches uh, between the table, you know, the, the bottom or the surface of the, the metal and the, the water level. That was great for collecting and, and catching the dross, but it meant that there was still an awful lot of smoke, right? Um, so you really want the table to be within about one or two inches you know, of the material being cut. Right? You want it to catch as much as it possibly can. And the last part about this table that uh, I, I hadn't done very well was, um, frankly, uh, it just didn't seal up really well. Like, I mean, it was fine as far as, well, actually, let me take that back. It sealed up very well. There were no leaks. In the three years I had it, I never had a single leak. Um, but I didn't put a drain in it or anything like that. I just slap this thing together. So anytime I wanted to drain it out, it was chopped back, you know, uh, stuff like that. And it was um, inconvenient, to say the least. It also meant that I didn't do it as often as I should, which meant I got worse buildup and, you know, it compounded issues. So the new version of this is uh, designed to um, basically to, you know, alleviate all of those issues. Um, right now it's, it's upside down on the table because I'm, I'm welding uh, part of it still. But uh, let's take a look at, at what I've got done so far. Alright, so we're working with the um, 
the frame at this point. Uh, the outer frame is using 3 16 angle iron. And that's actually kind of pushing the limits of what I can do with my little MIG welder. Um, I could take it all day long without a problem, but my MIG welder, in order to get both watertight but full penetration uh, welds on this, I went ahead and I'm beveling all the edges and giving myself good, clean, fresh metal to weld into. I've doing, I'll, I'll end up doing two passes, uh, put a good root pass in and then a cover pass on it to make sure that I've got everything going. But as you can see, lots of grinding, lots of prep work, um, you know, make sure you get both sides of that done. Um, I'm still using the same Walter flap disc that I have been using for the better part of two months now. Um, the thing is amazing. I can't believe how long it's lasted. So, uh, yeah, after this we'll go ahead and start getting things tacked up. So one thing that's going to be really important on this one, uh, because it needs to be watertight, is you know, good fit up, right? Uh, not just that, but also since the grates are going to be uh, resting on, on this frame, we want, it, I want to keep everything good and square. So uh, you can see that fit up on, on all of the pieces in here that uh, as I'm getting things tacked up, you'll see that fit up is just as tight as I can possibly get it. Um, the beveling helps me you know, get, get in there uh, deep on the, the weld and, and uh, get good penetration there, but i got to have that good fit up. So once I get the, uh, the corner pieces tacked in place, then it was time to just start putting each leg or each side together. Uh, and again, which at every point here, I am checking to make sure that everything is square. Um, I don't put everything on the camera here, but uh, you know, a couple of tacks, measure. Uh, I actually ended up um, cutting some of the tacks out and, and fixing it. Uh, at this point, I've got it fl uh, flipped over. Uh, this is the flange that everything's gonna rest on. So this will uh, have the table resting on the, or the tray resting inside of the plasma table itself. So it's gotta be really, really strong in here. But this is about as far as I got on this, and then I had to uh, take a quick break so, I'm watching YouTube while I've got uh, my welding project going on, and sure enough, what happens? Well, my friend Jim Bollinger over at Do Right uh, Fabrication, somebody who I turn to for help on <laughs> welding stuff, he calls me out completely, like I don't know the cardboard trick. All right, buddy, I see how it is. I got gotcha. you. All right, well, <clears throat> as I was working on this, I stopped to take a look at my uh, YouTube channel statistics for a minute, and uh, actually I was going to look at subscriptions, and, and I figured since I'm here, I might as well catch up on some videos myself, and I realized that I'm actually, I'm almost up to 2,000 subscribers, which I, I think is just um, both you know, phenomenal and ridiculous at the same time. I, I'm shocked by that. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to say thank you. Thanks to all of you who are subscribing. Uh, thanks to everybody who supports the channel one way or another, either just a kind word, right? You know, sometimes that goes a long way. Uh, but really appreciate that. And if you weren't aware, I do have a Patreon. Uh, I have a Patreon page set up now. Um, if you guys are interested in, in doing that, uh, you can check that out. I'll have a, a link to that as well. Um, and, uh, with that, let's let's sign off. This is already kind of a long video. Uh, thanks, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, if you're on the east coast of the U.S. like I am, try and stay dry, stay safe, and I will see you soon. So it's not just the lodge that's flooding. That's Fuquay Springs right now, or should we call that Lake Fuquay? I mean, look, that's a picnic table. It's up to the.